Hello, my name is Laurent Quetiel. I'm a professor of large animal internal medicine at Purdue University, College of Veterinary Medicine and Director of Equine Research Programs. Over the last several years, uh, the Grace and Jockey Club uh, Research Foundation has funded several of our research projects that help my team uh, better understand the links uh, between asthma in horses or lung inflammation and performance in athletic horses and also um, explore novel ways to mitigate or improve uh, that uh, level of asthma in these athletic horses. Uh, the initial study that uh, we conducted with the support of Grace and Jockey Club was to really understand how common uh, asthma, low-grade asthma was in, in race horses. Uh, this study was conducted at the th main thoroughbred racetrack in Indiana and uh, we collected samples in these horses uh, shortly after they raced. Within an hour or so, uh, we used an endoscope, for example, to uh, visualize the inside of the airways of horses and assess um, airway inflammation and collected several samples that revealed that uh, low-grade asthma uh, was very common. About 80% uh, of these horses had some degree of airway inflammation, even though they didn't show any overt uh, clinical signs of, of any, um, any problem. And more importantly, what we demonstrated is there was a direct um, association between um, asthma severity and performance, uh, whereby the greater um, the level of airway inflammation in these uh, horses and the uh, lesser their performance. So a negative effect of asthma in those horses um, and uh, important obviously to better understand this. So we um, thought there could be several potential causes for this and we investigated potential infection, you know, from viral respiratory uh, disease to bacterial infection and also a potential uh, role of irritants such as dust. And we ruled out pretty um, viruses and bacterial infection in this uh, low-grade asthma in horses and uh, were able to, to demonstrate that in fact uh, dust exposure was really closely associated with airway inflammation in these horses with um, asthma. And more importantly, uh, the size of the dust particles really mattered and, and its composition. And essentially, only small dust particles, uh, the one that can really get deep in the lung, were associated with airway inflammation. And we're able to demonstrate that by using uh, specific you know, uh, dust sensors. Uh, we call them personal sense sensors because they were really placed on the, on the halter of these horses to really monitor um, what they were exposed to as they were going about their normal life, you know, eating their hay or their grain and, and being in the stalls. Um, so once we demonstrated that association between dust exposure and, and low-grade asthma, of course the important next step was to show whether or not we could mitigate that, we could decrease um, dust exposure and hopefully then uh, help decrease uh, the burden of uh, lung inflammation in these horses. So that was the, the next study that um, uh, was supported by the Grayson Jockey Club and where we also investigate that, investigated that in thoroughbred racehorses at that uh, same um, racetrack in Indiana. And we essentially um, uh, fed these horses either um, their regular dry hay or they were fed uh, steam hay or a third forage was hellage. And hellage is actually a, a hay with a high water content or moisture content and that is baled in a sealed bag. And what we found is after six weeks um, being fed one of these three forages, nothing else was changed in their environment or their management. Uh, we found that, first of all, uh, with either steam hay or hellage, that significantly decreased uh, the dust exposure in those horses, again using those personal monitors on their halters. And then uh, associated with that decreased dust exposure, indeed we found that there was a decrease in, in the uh, level of severity of inflammation in the airway or asthma. So that's been really uh, uh, very encouraging and, and more importantly we also are trying to understand the mechanism for this and we found that in hellage, um, in addition to uh, lower dust exposure, there are some uh, nutrients 
and in particular some particular type of lipids uh, that seem to be playing an important role uh, in the resolution of airway inflammation. And so our next you know, study was essentially to try to understand better the role of those lipids. And those are found also in, in fish oil. So the current project we are uh, doing is really a, a large study, a clinical trial, uh, trying to supplement uh, horses' uh, feed without changing anything else uh, with either fish oil or another uh, placebo uh, oil. And again, doing that for several weeks and trying to look at the effect uh, this study um, actually we are, we've enrolled collaborators across the uh, U.S. Uh, working at some of the major racetracks throughout the U.S. to try to uh, again establish whether asthma is a, a global problem um, in, in racehorses, uh, how severe it is, and then whether or not there are also some environmental um, factors that play a role such as uh, pollution or um, other factors and then to again try to confirm whether or not this impacts you know, negatively performance in those horses and whether or not we can with just natural feed supplement you know, help uh, reduce the impact of asthma and help these horses essentially uh, go back to their you know, full potential of, of uh, racing performance. So this work really would not have been possible without the support uh, from the Grace and Jockey Club Research Foundation. Uh, we certainly hope um, that this um, research will help uh, horses and athletic horses, not just in the U.S., but globally, um, you know, decrease the burden of asthma and help them really again uh, return to their full potential as athletic horses. So on behalf of Purdue Veterinary Medicine, uh, we'd like to thank the Grace and Jockey Club Research Foundation uh, for their support over the years. Thank you.